Today, we're going to talk about the Aussie dollar. It is down about three quarters of a percent on the session and came in on the session about flat on the week, marking it down about 4% on the month. The weakness in the, in the Aussie dollar comes due to U.S. dollar strength and broad commodity weakness. First, the U.S. dollar is stronger on the heels of Fed Chair Powell's you, uh, second day of congressional testimony, as well as hawkish comments from Fed Governor Bowman talking about a 75 basis point hike in July and further hikes from there. Now, the Aussie dollar is known as a commodity currency, and it's been a very tough month for commodities as the CME Bloomberg Commodity Index is down about 8% on the month. A lot of this is due to the U.S. dollar strengthening as the U.S. Federal Reserve is tightening monetary policy. The Reserve Bank of Australia is also tightening monetary policy and hiked rates by 25 basis points on June 7th. Even since then, we've had stable economic data out of, out of Australia from GDP, jobs, and PMIs, and the Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to hike another 75 basis points in July. Still, the currency has been under pressure. And again, part of that is due to broad commodity weakness. Now, on the technical side of things, we have the Aussie dollar failing at the 21-day moving average through last week and encouraging a bit more weakness through today. Uh, we are retesting now the, at 68.50. This is the June 14th low, which is a marginally higher low than that from May 12th at 68.31. This is the lowest level in the Aussie dollar since June 2020. If we break below that low of 68.30, we are likely to see added pressures. Thank <laughs> you.